Hello, I am Gopagumar. Welcome to your math tutor. Here we focus on helping you to solve the problems in engineering mathematics in the easiest possible way from an exam point of view. If you are interested in theory, then check out NPTEL. Evaluate integral 0 to 2 pi 1 by 5 plus 4 sin theta d theta. In case of condor integration, generally the most critical aspect of solving the problem is identifying the type of the given question. In this question, we have trigonometric function sin theta and limit varies from 0 to 2 pi. So, we know that it is question of type 1. Another important thing to note here is, if the question is of type 1, we have to do the evaluation for the unit circle mod z is equal to 1, which is a circle with center 0, 0, radius 1. To solve this question, first of all, we have to find the residues. To find the residues, we have to change sin theta and d theta into the complex form. Before we go further into the video, let me ask a question. Are you familiar with poles and residues? If the answer to the question is no, then you have to watch the previous videos on Cauchy's residues. If the answer is yes, then good. Let's move forward. Put z is equal to r e raised to i theta. Here the radius of the circle is 1. Then z equal to r e raised to i theta becomes z equal to e raised to i theta. Taking differentials on both sides, d z is equal to e raised to i theta into i d theta. Replace e raised to i theta with z, then d z is equal to i z d theta. Therefore, we get d theta is equal to d z by i z. We know that sin theta equal to e raised to i theta by e raised to minus i theta by 2i. Replace e raised to i theta with z and e raised to minus i theta with z raised to minus 1. Then sin theta becomes z minus z raised to minus 1 by 2i. We know that z raised to minus 1 is 1 by z. Then sin theta is equal to z minus 1 by z by 2i. Taking LCM on RHS, then we get sin theta as z square minus 1 by 2i z. Replace d theta with dz by i z and sin theta with z square minus 1 by 2i z. Then integral 0 to 2 pi d theta by 5 plus 4 sin theta change into integral c dz by i z by 5 plus 4 into z square minus 1 by 2 i z. Cancelling 2 and 4 and taking LCM, then integral dz by i z whole divided by taking LCM, then 5i z plus 2 z square minus 2 by i z. Cancelling i z terms, then we get f of z as 
integral 1 by 2 z square plus 5 i z minus 2 d z. Here the poles are given by 2 z square plus 5 i z minus 2 equal to 0. Since the equation is quadratic, use the formula minus b plus or minus root of b square minus 4ac by 2a to find the roots of the equation. Substitute a is equal to 2, b is equal to 5y and c is equal to minus 2 in formula. Then we get z is equal to minus 5y plus or minus 5i the whole square minus 4 into 2 into minus 2 by 2 into 2. This is equal to minus 5y plus or minus root of 5y the whole square becomes minus 25 plus 16 by 4. That is equal to minus 5y plus or minus minus 25 plus 16 is minus 9 by 4 minus 5y plus or minus root of minus 9 is 3i divided by 4 then we get minus 5y plus 3i by 4 and minus 5y minus 3i by 4 minus 2i by 4 and minus 8i by 4. Cancelling 2 and 4, then we get z is equal to minus i by 2 and minus 2i. Then we get the poles z is equal to minus i by 2 and z is equal to minus 2i. We know that the contour is mod z is equal to 1. Put z is equal to minus i by 2 in mod z is equal to 1. Which is equal to 1 by 2. Since 1 by 2 is less than the radius of the circle mod z is equal to 1. Then the pole z is equal to minus i by 2 lies inside the circle mod z is equal to 1. Put the pole z is equal to minus 2 i in mod z is equal to 1. Then mod minus 2 i which is equal to 2. Since 2 is greater than 1, the radius of the circle mod z equal to 1. Then the pole z is equal to minus 2i lies outside the circle mod z is equal to 1. And f of z is equal to 1 by 2z square plus 5iz minus 2 is converted into factors f of z becomes 1 by 2z plus i into z plus 2i. Taking 2 as common factor from 2z plus i, we get 1 by 2 into z plus i by 2 into z plus 2i. To find the residue of pole z is equal to minus i by 2 lying inside the contour mod z is equal to 1, we use Cauchy's residue formula limit z tends to a z minus a f of z. Residue z is equal to minus i by 2 f of z equal to Limit z tends to minus i by 2 into z minus a is minus i by 2 f of z. 
then limit z tends to minus i by 2 into z plus i by 2 into f of z is 1 by 2 into z plus i by 2 into z plus 2i. Cancelling z plus i by 2 terms and substitute z is equal to minus i by 2 in the remaining z terms. Then, 1 by 2 into minus i by 2 plus 2i. Taking LCM, 2 into minus i plus 4i by 2 and cancelling, new cancelling 2, then we get 1 by 3i. By using Cauchy's residue theorem, 2 pi i into sum of residues, then integral f of z is equal to 2 pi i into 1 by 3 i. On cancelling i on numerator and denominator, we get 2 by 3 pi.